All right. <clears throat> that should be good. Um, I press this button and stream should now be working. Maybe I should close Twitter. Very professional of me. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Um, let's see. Is it working? Yes. Okay. It seems to be working. All right. Perfect. Wow. What an eventful week. We had an anniversary. Oh, oh come on. Had an anniversary for Planet Zoo. I went to Antwerp on Saturday. I unlocked monetization for the channel. So that's a thing now. Um, I already made 11 cents. Amazing. Living the good life. Living the true, true YouTuber life. Um, let's see what else happened. I... Uh, blah, blah, blah. What, uh, uh, there's more. Oh yeah, I got my diploma. You may have seen on Twitter. Um, I received my diploma finally. I mean, I graduated like half a year ago. But uh, officially, officially got my diploma now. Um, I got a lot of nice gifts. Uh, actually, I can show you this one. My mom, uh, she smashed it against the car, so the glass is broken. But my mom made a beautiful painting of an axolotl and a red panda. So that is just really, really cool. It's very sweet of her. Um, so yeah, super cool. Really happy. Uh, that that chapter is finally, finally over. Um, I was at the university for the last time. I got to engrave my name into um, one of the bridges. Uh, kind of like every person who graduates gets to engrave their name into the glass there. So that's really cool. Um, and yeah, what else? What else? Oh yeah, this is really cool. Um, I can't really show it, but to the side over here is an aquarium that I got. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah, I was at a friend's house. He's going to America soon, so we were hanging out. Uh, just, you know, catch up before he goes to America. Just play some board games. And um, I mentioned at some point that I've always wanted to have an axolotl. Hey, Miss T-Rex. Hey, Lovro. Hey, Tony. And, of course, hey, President of Zoo. <laughs> um, but I, I mentioned that I've always... By the way, look at this yak. Such a good mod. Really, really cool. Um, I've all, I, I mentioned that I've always wanted to have a uh, axolotl as a pet. And uh, this person was like, yeah, we have, a, we have an aquarium that you can just have. It's, it's collecting dust in the attic. So I took it home with me. Sadly, it's too big to house an axolotl. But it's still really, really cool. I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm probably gonna put vampire crabs in there, so I've been doing a lot of research on that, on how to make like the terrascape for it. Oh hey, it looks like I missed a little bit while terraforming here. Um, but yeah, basically just been doing a lot of research on uh, housing those animals. Like at first it was like the axolotl plan, did a lot of research on keeping axolotls and all the things you would need, and ultimately concluded that the terrarium I had, or the aquarium I had, um, was not suitable so that was a bit of a bummer but you know that's that's why you do research because you want to make sure that you don't make a big mistake by the way over here look at that oh you picked a really cool spot <laughs> we have the deer in here and uh, this is actually where you would have the red deer on the car safari uh, so that's really really cool uh, look at this space that they have and this is the skilled down version of the zoo right like all the way from here, you know, all the way <laughs> to over here. That is the space for the red deer. Uh, as well as the Scottish Highland cattle. Um, hey, have you seen how many people are using the uh, tier list for me to see how many species you've seen from the game? Yeah, I've done that. Wait, let me let me pull it up. Um, it's actually already outdated because I went to Antwerp and I saw a bunch of species that I haven't seen yet. But and I never saved the thing, so I just have to make a new one. But let me find it. Um, I would have to from myself. You can see this, but I don't want you to because it's a private Discord. Uh, here it is. I think this is it. So here we go. Let me just open that over there, and then you can see. So. This is mine, and now on this server we kind of, we bent 
the rules a little bit. Like, we didn't go, like, specific subspecies necessarily, so I'm not sure if I've actually seen exactly the... I think it's the Colombian uh, capuchin monkey and, like, Bengal tiger. I've seen white tiger. Oh, this is the Bengal tiger. I've seen white tiger. And there's just, like, a tier list thing for Planet Zoo that has all of the Planet Zoo animals in it, and then you just create the things yourself. Um, but I, I need to update this, because I've now seen... I've seen American alligator, I've seen Barbarossa, and I've seen uh, this one, the diamondback rattlesnake. Where is that one? Or that one? I don't know. One of the snakes, the diamond diamondback rattlesnake I've seen now at Antwerp Zoo. So that was really, really cool, actually. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I've seen a bunch of animals, actually. And I don't know. I don't know if there's anywhere I can see Gariel. That would be really cool, though. I might see Giant River Otter at some point this year. Still, if I'm still going to Aqua Zoo. Um, yeah, exactly. So that's why it's just like just just bend the rules a little bit to like. Have you seen a dingo? Then yeah, sure, throw it in there. You know. Um, but yeah, a lot of the exhibit animals I'm not exactly sure if I've seen them. Um, like, I've seen giant African land snail, not a tiger snail, though. So, I mean, yeah. Well, that's kind of whatever. Um, so, yeah. It's a, it's a fun thing to do. I actually am very curious uh, as to why it has, it has taken us three years to suddenly make this become a trend. So that is that is quite interesting, but hey, whatever. <laughs> so today we are going to work in this area. We have, of course, our beautiful sign over here, which we're not going to talk about, um, because yeah, I <laughs> I'm done complaining about the planks, and me just saying that is already enough. Complaining for today. We're gonna keep things positive, you know. I've done enough complaining on the anniversary. Although I did genuinely have some things to complain about then. Uh, <laughs> but today we're going to work on, on this little thing over here. This is the Congo photo. And it's basically is this little area. Uh, has gotten a roof. And has gotten that little photo device. So we just need to add... Like we don't have as much space as we should have and I'm not sure if I should like expand this thing to give us a bit more space um let's just look at some of the other photos whether we deem that necessary so if we look at this it is kind of icky right like hmm do kind of want a little more space, but oh, why did it? Oh crap! Let's start by doing this. Uh, you really should go to Prague. Oh my god! I wish I, I wish I could, I wish I could just go anywhere. But uh, sadly, there's like these things called time and money. That are always in the way of that sort of those sorts of plans. Oh, what do we have over here? Didn't update these logs. Let's do that. Uh, African, African bread. No beam. African beam. Let's put that on there. Oh, there were three of them in there. Why? No. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. Let's just put that like so. Or something. <clears throat> something like that. And maybe lower this one. In its entirety, I guess. Hello? 
the game freeze? What the hell? What was that? <laughs> uh, when it's appropriate time for you, you should definitely check it out. All right, I'll put it on on some sort of life list. But yeah, so we need a bunch of signs. Um, looks like we didn't need this one twice. So we, uh, we also need that one multiple times. I think we should just make a couple of of signs for this. Um, but first, let's check. I feel like this one is more like over here. Maybe they moved some of them. But I want to know if I should expand the frame, basically. I think we should, right? Um, I'm also going to quickly... I don't think it's going to help, but I'm going to put up my own video. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, just Goron is live? That is incredible. Oh, I'm so glad that YouTube finally split up all of these things into different things. Because now finally you can actually see all of my videos with, without like <laughs> all the streams being in the middle of them. Um, wait, I'm not going to live streams. So I actually, actually want to see a video. And we're going to skip all of the stuff about the new Rhino area. Here it is. Congo photo. Alright, so. Yeah, I do want to just barely. I'm actually going to delete this because we need to make a new one anyway. Because it changed. Um, and now I want to take... Why is there stuff underground? That's weird. Wait, why is that there? Hmm. That's confusing. I feel like that stuff is not supposed to be underground. I feel like I just forgot about that. Yeah, I definitely did. Whoopsie. All right, we'll just put that back there. And now we'll... Uh, there we go. Just do this. There we go, awesome. We're just gonna... Actually, we're gonna split that. Uh, we'll fix that later. We're just going to take these these let's add this one to it as well and this one perfect all right let's take all of that and we're gonna move it to like over here about something like that there we go just to give us a bit more space, because now this is already a lot more spacious. And oh, if only I could do that and get rid of those little. Uh, I wish I could get rid of those nubs, so bad. But we'll keep them. Why? Not a lot, not a lot we can do about it. I actually think. I wanna just cover up that one like so. And now we need to fix the rest of the structure. Um sorry if I came out like bragging. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Don't you worry. You're just passionate about it. That's the best thing. <laughs> That's what we're here for. That's what we love about this game. Just people getting passionate about their zoos and things. Alright. Let's see. So these are constructed out of several pieces. I think we probably need to make them a little longer. But we're going to see <clears throat> what happens when we try to put it into the new setup. So... Yeah, kind of as expected. They are a little 
short. So we're gonna do this. And now we need to fit it into the shape again. Bam. But yeah, I had an eventful week. Another thing that happened is I got a, I want to say job offer, but it's not exactly a job offer. Um, I'm going to have a, a talk this Friday at a bank uh, for a function of Java developer. And we're going to talk about whether or not it's a good fit for me, basically. And hopefully they'll be interested and I can start working there as a Java developer. As part of my traineeship. So I'll be learning all about Java and making like banking stuff, <laughs> like financing apps and uh, like payment systems. I'm not 100% sure what I'll be working on exactly. That's what I'm going to ask them. Um, but whatever it is, like, like, would you, you might not realize this, but banks are like huge IT companies. They have so much expertise and whatnot. So I think there's a lot to learn there. So I'm pretty excited to see what that holds and then where we can grow from there. Should be neat. It's kind of weird how when I load into the Bakersberg, the frame rate is absolutely horrible. But over time, it like stabilizes, it settles. Because right now, it's pretty playable. No real issues here. I just realized that these things are like. I could probably just use a 4 meter one to a much better result. Oh. Come on. Okay. There we go. That is much better. Does the same hold true for the other ones? Probably. Let's just try it. Yeah, definitely. So let's put one like that. Oh, those things are not in this particular group. So let's do this then. And we will take it, flip it. Just make it a little more interesting. There we go. That is our thing. So, uh, as for this side, so we of course have these, which also need to be a bit longer. Let's see if um, those also work for a four meter one. Uh, no, not exactly. I think that's a little bit just slightly too long for the four meter ones because this is as short as that gets which would be fine ish but we can do better so i'm just going to go ahead and take all of these and move them like this have you downloaded free build oh that's a good point i have not downloaded the new update of free build yet how bad of me yeah i've been so busy doing other stuff like, I haven't opened Planet Zoo since the anniversary. During the anniversary stream, which was so much fun. Um, yeah, during the anniversary stream, I opened this file to put the dare in. And that, that's the last time I played Planet Zoo, apparently. Actually, I just realized that I wasn't going to stream today because I was going to edit the Plunkendale video. And I forgot. And I just started streaming anyway. Um, so... <laughs> 
Maybe I'll, I'll still edit it after the stream. And otherwise, I have all week. I have all week to edit it. Still. Gonna be working from home tomorrow, so... There'll be... Plenty of time. Because I can sleep in a little bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is kind of not the greatest in terms of good looking connections between these wood pieces, but it's right now the best that I can do in a short amount of time. And that's what we're here for. Because <laughs> I want to finish the zoo. So sometimes you gotta cut, cut corners a little bit. You know, don't want to do a bad job, but if there's a choice between doing a decent enough job in a short amount of time or a slightly better job, but it takes forever, you know, sometimes you just got to pick the slightly easier job. And maybe I'll come back and fix it up if I really hate it. <laughs> but for now... Current me says this is fine. There we go. Okay, I hate it, actually. <laughs> I should maybe take these. I'm gonna take the caps color. Wait, the caps color or the end color? I think the end color, actually. Uh, no, I should actually take the wood color and turn the end color into the wood color. There we go. And that makes it a lot less bad. That kind of makes them blend a lot better. I could do the same on the other one, but then you will lose this effect. So don't want to do that. Um, but judging by what's happening here, I'm trying to remember what this looked like while they were building it. Because you could actually see how they constructed the roof. And I'm not exactly sure how that was done. But uh, if we look over here, like how we are inside of it, you can see there's like some planks in the ceiling, right? This will be fun to make. Yeah, they basically just put some boards in there. So what we'll do is we'll just put the chipboard. And then we'll keep this thing on top. Uh, doesn't need to have two sides anymore. And I'll, in fact, just get rid of that one. Because I feel like that thing is still on top there. But they just... Kind of... Put some wood... Chip, 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 chip... Chip Skylark. That's a reference. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Some kind of crevice in my brain. I hope at least one person gets it. <laughs> um, okay. I'll put it like this. Something like this. Of course, it had to be waterproofed a little bit because there's like actual electronics and stuff here. So now we're going to do probably the easiest part of this, which is the green screen. Well, I mean, I say easiest, but it's actually semi-complicated. 
with how they added, how they removed this beam, I guess. Or it's, no wait, it's still there, it's actually... Wait, I was gonna throw that into the corner. I'm gonna get rid of this outlet real quick. And we're gonna get some corrugated thing. Can I put that in there? Nope. That's a bummer. I'd love to put that in there, but... Hmm... I do have this, but it's not the same. There is not a lot of space here. And this one's even bigger, so... Doubt that would work. The only thing we could do is block off both the windows, but that kinda... It's not what it looks like, so... Uh, how would we fix that? Uh, well, one thing we can do is use cable pieces to make our own corrugated sheet, basically. So we take this and then we do something like this. And now the only downside to this is that it doesn't look very uh, weathered. But we might be able to add some grunge to it. So this might actually not be the worst idea. So let's just put that over here for now. Like this. Oh. Okay. My Q and E keys are no longer working. Love it when that happens. That happens a little too frequently. Um, Alright, this needs to go all the way up to the glass. And then, wait, let's... Oh wow, Control-Z is also not working. Fun. Hello. Oh. Yes, alright, it fixed itself. At least, at least there was that. At least when something breaks like that, it does eventually fix itself. Alright, uh, actually this is more like a dark blue. A bit more on the grey side though. Let's pick something like this. Split that. And over here, we will choose a lighter reddish kind of color. Ooh, it just started raining really loudly. Don't know if you can hear it. That came out of nowhere. Alright, let's put these up to about there. Which is seemingly where they are. And we'll give it a darker red. And we'll take these. For some reason, I can't hear the game at all. Sometimes. I guess that's just the... Cable pieces, maybe. Alright, a bit lighter. And a bit... Moved. So that they don't Z-fight. Alright, and now let's see what happens when we add some, like, grunge to that. Because this... I like the look of this already. It's pretty decent. We can maybe move it over a little more. And actually, I do think I want to get rid of one of these. Just to get a bit more of these. And of course we can't do that. Nope. Nope. That's what I want. There we go. And construction. And we will take grunge. And I'm pretty sure this will work surprisingly well. So we just put that over here. See if it doesn't stick out. It does. So I need to take a different one, like this one. 
Uh, that should work. So we put that. And one thing we can do is put it like into the uh, mesh, kind of. You can see that it's not completely aligned the same way. Uh, yeah, I can basically put it like this. Um, I think what would be better to do is actually group these up. Just gonna move them forward so that it doesn't have it as much. That way, when I color this one green, it won't show up as green. And if I color it green, it'll... Yeah! That works. Kind of exactly how I want it to. So let's actually make that green as well. Hello. Make that green as well, but then darker. I will also take the main one and just make that slightly darker. That's exactly the look that I was hoping for. Like, of course, this, the stripes on it are a little too bright. Uh, we can actually also fix that a little bit by um, taking this and not doing that. But just taking some of these stripes and also just barely change the color on them. Just a bit. And I'll also add to that weathered look. This is going surprisingly well. I did not expect this to work as well as it does. I did also I also did not expect we would spend the first like half hour of the stream on a piece of concrete or a piece of corrugated metal, but hey, that's just how these things go. Um, this one's a little more simple because it's only one piece, so let's take that a slightly different color, take these two, let's make those slightly darker. Maybe take this one and make it a bit more grayed out. There we go. And then we'll take... Uh, then we take this one, maybe. And... Go on the world axis. Yeah, exactly like that. And I will take it and make it this color. And maybe darker. Maybe make it pop out a bit more. It's kind of showing up in there a little bit, but somehow I don't exactly mind it. So yeah, there we go. This works so well. I am amazed. I this is actually I'm gonna use this uh, for the entrance because there's something in there that I've been meaning to make for the longest time, but I wasn't able to because we didn't have like this kind of corrugated stuff. But apparently we do. I just need to be a little more creative. Who would have thought? Who would have thought the one thing that we have been doing in Planet Zoo for the Longest time is the thing that we need to do for this thing as well. The answer is being creative. Alright, let's put this in here. There you go. I don't care that some of the red will bleed. I think that makes it... It gives, gives it character. There we go. Let's make it go all the way down as well. Slightly differently. Maybe, maybe like this stuff. There. And then the last but not least, we have this one, which will make different as well. Let's just take this one and make it like so. And we'll take this. Why don't we?
Like, it's cool. Because now it just looks like they kind of mispainted it, or this is, like, a bit more rusted. I like that a lot. I do. Maybe we can add a bit more, like, brown in this one. It's not exactly brown, but... See what that does? Definitely does something cool. Maybe not brown, but... Like a dark green, like maroonish. Kind of gives it a mysterious color. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. I like that a lot. Really happy with that. Um, looking at it though, I kind of do want to... I do want to... Just... Just do this. And just... Uh, come on. Yeah. Just do that. Uh, Yeah. Wait, actually, I missed. I messed that up. There we go. More so like this. Like that. There we go. Then, from here to there, essentially, I'm gonna slightly move that. Um, do I just get rid of this stuff to save on pieces? It's not really necessary, but. We can. Oh god, that is so intricate. I forgot how these were built. This was before we had font pieces. That would have made it so much easier. My god. I pity. Pass me. You know, maybe I shouldn't remove this in case I ever want to put it back. Yeah, it's probably smarter. Alright, in that case, let's see how tight we can make. Probably actually just gonna follow this part of the thing. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but let's take an art shape. That's not what those are called, actually. Uh, let's turn off blueprints. And you also need to reinstall Planet Zoo Plus because. It was actually quite convenient. <laughs> and I think this thing is just full on green, which I don't know what that would be. I mean, I can also just pick my own color, because this one actually looks a lot better. Make it a bit more faded for realism purposes. And let's see how we can fit that in. So it kind of needs to be against that hole like this and then you can actually make it slightly more like this does that show on the other side didn't think so because we have those shelves and stuff but just to be safe always check all right See, I don't want to see the green shine through on there, so I'm just going to make sure that that's covered up. Make sure that this is grouped, and 
Let's put that all the way up there. Let's make sure that this thing is angled properly. There we go. That is our photo frame. Now, I'm not actually sure about several things. First of all, there's this new rain pipe. It's very clearly new. Because, um, of course, now this is a flat roof and they need to drain the water from there. So it actually makes sense that they would add a gutter like that. So, um, oops. Don't mind the shifting stool underneath my chair. Oh, wait, there is actually. There already was a rain pipe. Well, what was wrong with that one? <laughs> ah, and the new one doesn't really have that kind of shape. Oh, that's fine. Why can I not press X? Come on, game. I don't want to add it to the group. Sometimes. It's a little frustrating. <laughs> Just a little bit. Only sometimes. Alright. Put you there. You are very light grayish. Because, in fact, you are supposed to be metal. But that's not an option. So, let's snap that on there. Get the right shape going. Don't freeze on me, please. Uh, let's move it down just a little. Also leave whatever group we are in, because I don't want to be in there. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, I like that, but it just needs to be slightly, just slightly shorter. And now it's not letting me. Why doesn't it? Don't rotate. <laughs> Please stop rotating it automatically. Oh, really? Really? Why isn't it? Oh, that's random rotation. My bad. Like, come on! <sighs> this game. <laughs> Like, I would like to have a sl like a short straight piece here, but that's not a thing that we have. So, instead, we'll just make one out of these. And we'll make this. We'll make this one slightly closer to that side to appease whatever god of things. What's actually really cool is that we can like slightly see these things peeking out under it and you have the same thing over there. So look like it looks like my previous version of this thing was accurate enough to get that thing going. Alright, that of course doesn't work so we need it. I hate that I can't snap on there. I need to basically place this one for the sole purpose of being able to snap on the other thing, which I'm not a fan of. But hey. I feel like that is kind of one of those overlooked things when it comes to like items um, like I feel like position snap is something that you would take for granted but there's actually a lot of thought that goes into making something like that right like the person making the item needs to really think about where they're gonna put those position snap uh, joints basically Now, is that always done super well? Maybe not, but a lot of the time, 
Really well done. Super cool stuff. So, I don't know why there's a black line there. I've never noticed that. Um, but we're going to put this. And I don't know if we can actually editable. Um, yeah, we don't really have anything that is shaped like that. Um, but let's get a rug. See when I have a rug. Corrugated. Yeah, of course. Uh, no, we don't have rugs. We have carpets. But none of them are circular. So we just have to kind of come up with something. What's like a, a rough circle? Do we have maybe um, a mud? No, mud's not the thing we're looking for. We're looking for something organic. It's one of my favorite search terms in the game, organic. Because it always comes up with kind of unique things. I think it's like a material. Actually, I haven't looked at these yet. At all. <laughs> they look kind of funny. I like them. They, they probably have a very niche use. Like Wyatt did a really clever thing with this one on our St. Reginald video. If you haven't seen that one, you should definitely check it out on Wyatt's channel. Wyatt made the best possible Halloween thing. I don't know why, but I kind of like this texture. But I'm not sure. Not sure about it. We have, <laughs> we have these. If it weren't for the little square things, it would actually work. And for the round stuff, that kind of also ruins it a little bit. Now, okay, organic doesn't work. I'm not going to use font pieces or art shapes. I feel like that. Ooh, the drum. Eh, not exactly. I don't know why. I just like that. Uh, this actually looks interesting. I feel like that could have a different purpose. Um, but no. Clay thing. Oh wow, that is super like weird looking. Huh. Interesting texture. Okay, that one's way too big. If anyone has a piece that we could maybe use for this rug, that'd be great. And if not, I'm gonna keep looking. Don't necessarily want to make all of the markings on it. Just, just want to have the texture right. You know why I clicked the metal clock? Oh, both of these, all of these clocks are double-sided, by the way, which I think is a bit weird. I actually, wonder do the clocks update? While the game is paused? No, they don't. Wait, the clocks just move? Even when the game is... Like, not updating time? That's kind of a bummer. I thought that they were, like, correlated to the in-game time. I thought that's what made them special. Ooh, maybe these? I'm too stony, right? Kind of. Probably gonna end up using something like wooden. Wood the baskets.
Funny it was bigger. I could see if there's a bigger basket, but. I'm not 100% sure. There's so many pieces nowadays that when you don't immediately know what piece you want to use, you'll be looking for a while. Wow. Jesus. Trapery. So yeah, is there anything else? I feel like I've already talked about everything in like two seconds. Like I finally had some things to talk about. And instead of saving it up, <laughs> I just kind of blew it all out there at the start. And now I have nothing left to talk about again. I mean, in my defense, if I wouldn't have done it that way, I would have just forgotten about everything. <laughs> but, hey. Like the only thing I can think of is using the moss. Because that has kind of the right texture. I'm just kind of confused that we don't have any like circular rugs. They're all square. It's a little, a little odd, isn't it? Anyway, we should really make some like progress on this thing. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take a piece of plaster. Which will be good enough. I hope. I hope I can actually make this work without it sticking. Yeah, okay. It's not sticking out of the floorboards. Um, although this is too big. So let's see what else we can have. Okay, that's even bigger. That's same size, that's even bigger. Okay, now it looks like uh, looks like this is what we kinda got, huh? Or this. That's kinda perfect. Yeah, that's perfect even make it slightly bigger. Move it here. Decent texture. Round shape. And slightly orangey. Hey, Lovro, welcome back. You didn't miss much. I was just looking for a piece to use for this rug for way too long. And we have some corrugated metal sheets. I don't know if you saw those yet. I'm going to slightly alter the color of green here. To make it slightly more... Maybe a bit more bluish as well. Just to make it look a bit more weathered. Um, we can actually... Ooh, what if I use... This is a piece that I somehow keep forgetting about. This stuff. Uh, oh, it's a little too big. That's a bummer, because it does... Like, it kind of has those folds, right? Would have been cool. But, yeah, no, that is way too big. Love that we're back in the Beekse Berg again. Glad you like it. It's good to be here. <laughs> Alright, wait, actually... I can do this. I wonder... I make this ooh that is rough with the color difference. Let's see if we can match that. Oh I mean that's as good as it's gonna get. That's really nice. I like that. Okay. 
Yeah, I like that a lot. So let's put that on both sides just to make it look a bit more weathered. And like used. Probably also gonna put a bit of grunge on there. Oh. Which might also help blend those things in because you, you can see there is a bit of a lighting discrepancy probably if we change some no it doesn't actually change it much at all which that's nice oh and now it's night time <laughs> that actually does mean that I can edit this one a little more just to make it blend slightly better Yeah, I'd say that's better. Um, Alright, so we just go and get some grunge. Everyone's favorite. Uh, especially down at the bottom, that stuff is going to be very good. Um, I kind of want to do it like this. Like, it doesn't need to look... Oh, okay. It doesn't need to look... Like, gross. It just needs to... Kind of add just that little bit of extra texture to it all. I actually don't like that. Something like that. And for the top as well. And don't want it to stick for here. Still will need to do something about the side of it there. See, it doesn't stick out the top now. It doesn't. It's good. Nope. Please go down. Please go down. I feel like it happens after pausing this this little bug, which is annoying because I often accidentally pause. Probably most of the time I pause it is accidentally. All right. So let's look at this little staircase thing. Um. I feel like we need to use some type of metallic piece. So this has a good shape for it, but it's a bit big. Um, now these, something that Eben did, Eben used like these things for a similar thing. And I think that looked really, really cool. So I kind of want to like, have, but and the thing is like these don't, these only have, like, but that's an unattainable shape, basically. So, an option is something like this, but it's again a little big. It's a little big. That's a little big. So then you would kind of get to these, which is also not fantastic, but it does work. And then another option would be to use the cables, which definitely would look the best. But also not. Because of how long they are, because they're like one meter. These things are great, by the way. I used, I, uh, I saw Remnant use them in Balboa. Was it Balboa? No, it was Swin Palms. And I was like, oh yeah! I had custom, change in custom chains in some places. 
So yeah, I updated them with the, the new change that we got. And that just looks really, really well, uh, really good. So just a tiny, tiniest little change, but really neat. All right, let's just uh, use this, make it white. Ah, that doesn't look good though. Darn it. All right, let's see if we can use the cable pieces and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to take this and make it white, make it slightly not white. And we'll see where that ends up. So use one as a backdrop. Use one like this. All right, I'm just gonna do uh, actually. 45 degrees? Nah. Let's do 15. Let's do 1, 2, 1, 2. Something like that. I'm going to delete these two. Move these up a little closer. Um, yeah. And now comes the challenge of uh, you know I don't need. It looks like it does have something kind of down the middle, which will go all the way up then. I actually made these a little too tall, if you ask me. So I'm going to drop them down. And that. Alright, so now comes the difficult part, which is these connections. And the only way I can imagine doing them oh, is by kind of doing this, essentially. So we're going to move it in. And then, oops. basically is move it into here and then hide it under there. And we're going to move that around for these as well. that would work <laughs> with angle snap. I don't know why I thought it would, but it did not, in fact, work. All right, not the best, not the worst. Um, let's add these, so we're going like halfway-ish and then up. Definitely need to lower this one down. And same thing here, halfway ish, and then up. And same for these, halfway ish, up, halfway ish, and up. Let's get the wood. So we're going to get. Um, slat. No way that works. Now I just need to get trim wood. Um, 
especially for this. It's a pretty straightforward one. Let's see, how much room do we have to mess around in here? I think it's quite a lot. Okay, maybe not. Actually, maybe. If I rotate it like this. I think you can actually get away with quite a lot. So let's do this and flip it. Um, that's a very smart Goron action there. Is it now? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when it works out. If it works out. Let's see. Uh, let's do this. Kind of just need to make this all fit together uh, as well as possible. Yeah, this is about the best that we're going to get shape-wise. And it's not... Hello? <laughs> there we go. Bam! Move that down. It's not sticking out, seemingly. No, it's not even getting close. Perfect. Alright, let's make that brown-ish. All right, and now we just need to get this part, which is going to be impossible to do well. So <laughs> I'm afraid. Because, uh, yeah, like the only piece thinner than this is the actual fin piece, which is a bit long, essentially. Like, we can use that for this part. We could, but it would stick out. Yep. So, the only thing that we can really do is just move this down and kind of extend it. Uh, So we just have to, yeah. that maybe like this <laughs> yes I kind of feel like we're in over the garden wall when he's putting together his costume so just throwing together junk no I don't really feel like that yet I'm not really throwing junk together like even is so much better at that just taking the most random items together and being like yep it's a camera now like, I highly recommend you watch his latest How Do You Do video on, like, his, uh, like, the build he did for the community stream. Because it has some of the best examples of piece usage. 
in the game. Easily. I feel like I personally have like a like a safe zone. Like these are the pieces that I'm comfortable working with. And I very rarely manage to get out of that. And even is really just like, yep. This right here. This little weird thing that I'm making. It needs exactly these pieces. Alright. I'm gonna keep it like this. I um, actually do wanna maybe increase. Uh oh. Uh, increase this height a little bit and then oh well decrease the height of this a little bit there we go that's the best that we can make that I'm afraid uh, so yeah that's one side so the other things that we're gonna need is mostly signs and of course the photo thing itself um, I want to make the box for this. We're going to put it on the world axis though. Um, because it's going to need quite a lot of decal things. So, I'm just going to get started on that. And that will probably be the end of the stream, I'm afraid. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to do more. But, yeah, the time has kind of flown by a little bit. I did not expect that. Yeah, even it's just the master at that. Um, Alright, let's see. Okay, that is too big, obviously. Also, I want to be at thing. Uh, let's see. So what kind of size are we looking at here? I know I just went off the world axis. I just want to know how big this thing should be. So this is too big. So do we use this is so slightly too small right so we'll have to use this but then a little bit extra let's count the amount of bricks <laughs> so we're gonna take one of these take it out here let's just uh, do that we're gonna reset it to the world axis we're gonna count one two three four five six seven eight bricks that's how big we want our thing to be. So again, uh, reset this to world axis. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And we will color this. Actually, let's just steal the color from the building. I'm assuming that they used that. <laughs> we will probably slightly change it just to uh, give the idea that yes, this was a later edition. Because it was. You can actually kind of tell. Like, it's slightly more orange slightly more <laughs> slightly more <laughs> wow i don't know why i have so much trouble saying slightly uh slightly more yellowish as well just slightly off not in a bad way though all right so we'll move that back and give it a side. Bam. There we 
go. Okay. Don't really care about the top right now. Um, just want to get this all right. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and... Crap. <laughs> no, I'm not going to crap. Don't worry. Just trying to get all the details in. side of this can actually be like so and oops now we can take a screen will we make a billboard for this I don't know but let's just put the Oops, put the screen in. Uh, actually, I want to get a one meter. One meter. 30. Is there not a one meter? There should be. 0. 0.5, 16, 32, 4, 8. Oh, here it is. TV screen one. There we go. That's exactly what we need. Kind of. There we go. Yeah, that's like actually what we need. So let's put that. Actually, let's give that the same color. Uh, that is not the same color. Oh, come on. Come back here. Didn't feel like the same color. It wasn't. Right, let's put that on that side. And downwards, slightly. And all right, we'll have to do this. So that we can get the proper width. And for the bottom, I can do this. Oh, apparently my Discord's not muted. My bad. Sorry that I if I just made everyone check the thing. Um Let me just finish up. I think uh, I'm going to start wrapping up soon. I got to go walk the dog in a moment. So we did not get as far as I'd hoped. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, we got we got a decent way done with this. Like this part looks finished. <laughs> so that's that will be the end result. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Things went a little slow today. I, I, def I really have expected to be able to get more done. But... I don't know. Time flies. Things happen. So, thank you guys all for tuning in. I'll probably be live again. Uh, either continuing this. I'll probably finish this off stream. stuff. We might even get started on like the new Rhino area. Which is around this part. If you didn't realize from the update video. It's basically right over here. You're in the Africa village area. And you're going to walk into here and this is where the new rhino area starts so this is the separation area uh, the path of course going around the primate house backstage and then this is where that new raised path is going to be so it's going to be a bit of a challenge not gonna lie a bit of a challenge to get that all to work 
Um, but we'll see how it goes. Should be good. So yeah, I'll um, see you guys probably sometime this weekend. There's at least going to be a Plunk and Dahl video again on uh, Saturday. I'm going to make sure to get that out in time. So don't you worry about that. Hello, Mr. Tongue. Um, oh wow, if you hit play, it really drags down. All right. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.